In this video, I wanna talk about the fat-burning hormone glucagon and how you can use it to burn fat. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Kohler and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for 25 years. And if this is your first time here and you're looking to turbocharge your fitness, health and nutrition, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Well, let's talk about this hormone. What is the fat hormone? It's called glucagon. Now, glucagon is pretty much the opposite of insulin. Most people are familiar about insulin. Insulin is the storage hormone. You know, I talk about it all the time. This is the hormone that you want to keep, you know, at very, very low levels all the time. You know, pretty much when insulin is high, what are you doing? You're storing calories, okay? For example, when people eat too many carbohydrates, I talk about this all the time. I'm gonna link up a video about low carb eating that I really recommend when it comes to weight loss. But let me give you that quick carbohydrate story again. For example, when you're eating carbohydrates, what happens? The body releases sugar into the bloodstream in the form of glucose. Okay, now what happens is that the body doesn't like too much sugar, too much glucose in the bloodstream. So the pancreas releases insulin, which pulls the sugar out and tries to store that sugar in the form of glycogen in your muscles and in your liver. The thing is that the liver can only hold about 100 grams, about 400 calories, and the muscles can hold about, I don't know, maybe about, say, four to 500 grams, which is about, say, 2,000 calories. So depending upon how big you are, say you can store anywhere between 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 calories of carbohydrates in the form of glycogen in your muscles and your liver. The problem is that people eat so, so, so many carbohydrates, way too many carbohydrates, so the glycogen levels are always full. So then when they keep on eating food and they keep on rele releasing insulin, what happens is that insulin turns, it's a, it's a complicated process, but these carbohydrates with the help of insulin are converted into fat. And that's how people get overweight, that's how people get metabolic syndrome. That's how people get insulin resistant. For example, people are producing insulin. The pancreas is producing insulin, but it's just not doing its job. That's where people get leptin resistance. You know, the hunger hormones, everything gets all out of whack. And people get a lot of horrible health issues like diabetes, things along the lines of that. So what I consider to be really good healthy eating is eating in a way where your insulin levels are low and your fat burning, burning hormone glucagon is high. So let's talk about glucagon. Like glucagon is pretty much the exact opposite of insulin. Glucagon, you know, t you know, helps release fat out of the cell. It's really like the fat burning hormone. Now, what can you do to increase these levels? That pretty much is you really want to be, you really want to just do everything you can to keep insulin low. If insulin is low and you pretty much say you're, you have an empty stomach, your fat burning hormone is high. One thing you can do, which I love, I do it all the time, is take a long walk on an empty stomach. It's a, it turns into a great fat burning uh, you know, activity. Glucogen, glucagon is being released when there is no food in your system and insulin is low. So that should be your goal. One of the main reasons people don't lose weight is because they're just eating, they're just grazing all day long. It's the worst thing, in my opinion, you can do if you're looking to lose weight. Okay, so try it. Give it a try this week. Try to skip a meal. Skip breakfast. <coughs> if you can. Take a long walk on an empty stomach. Get that fat-burning hormone glucagon working in your favor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're looking to turbocharge your weight loss, loss efforts, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Take care, hope everyone's having a wonderful day.